Welcome back to part two of The Ref Show. We're just completing the Premier League roundup before we go on to a couple of other issues. The 12 match ban, uh, the uh, goal in the FA Cup. Well, it wasn't a goal because it didn't stand because the referee blew as it was, it was kind of flying in. Uh, Leicester 1, West Brom 2 just completes the Premier League roundup. On some good performances by referees. Craig Pawson, did he need one? I mean, I think he may have got one in this game. Yeah, I mean, he's a little bit in and out, is, is yeah. Craig, um, but. I think it was an easy, it was, a, I mean, it's not right for me to say it was an easy game because your referee yeah. what's in front of you. But yeah, I mean, it's, it, as a referee, they're the games you want. No controversies, you just glide in and glide out. Just officiate the rules, isn't it? Basically. Hey, Ursley, how many times I've got to tell you? The laws, not the rules, OK? Uh, I'm old school. I know, I'm old you, school. I know yeah. you, I know you are. <laughs> um, so, somebody I know uh, used to pour me up on that in the pub every week. He used to say, it's not rules, it's laws. But So it's an easy mistake to make, Hurst. Yeah, that never uh, happened to me because I never go to the pub. Of course you don't. <laughs> there you go. Of course you don't. No, so no. you could never have imagined that scenario. This may have been over a pint as well because he could have been wrong. Somebody said to me that Hooth should have been penalised for grappling in that Robert Hooth. Was it over a pint with him? No, he never, he didn't, he never <laughs> if Hooth's involved, it never was great. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I'll tell you so, what, you? I agree with Ersty. If he's involved, then it, then it happened. Yeah. Yeah. But it, to it be fair... It's more than anybody else. <laughs> it takes one over yeah. again. <laughs> but to be fair, I mean, I watched, I watched the game and it wasn't highlighted um, no, no. It, during the game. OK, so we'll overlook that one. Uh, in the championship, there was some, a bit of grappling, I thought, at Hillsborough. Um, I actually saw Tom Lee's back, the flesh on his back, from a Sheffield Wednesday corner in that. Yeah. Uh, not, nothing was given, but overall, Andy Madley had a good game. It's certainly, you know, Sheffield Wednesday were beaten by it, switch and Yeah, I mean, uh, had a good I, th game. I thought Andy had a, had a good game. I don't think there was a great deal for him to do. Like you say, referee, no. what's in front of you, it weren't the most exciting of games. No. Uh, not a great deal of controversy. Uh, and obviously Wednesday, Wednesday got beat late on, so yeah. yeah, no complaints to the referee. He's a good referee. Yeah, yeah I've been a big fan of uh, Andy's for, for for a long time. I've seen him, you know, several times, and um, I, I just can't quite understand why he's not been promoted um, to select Group One. You know, I, I think Robert's doing well, but I, I think no disrespect to Robert, but I think Andy is a better referee than his brother. I do, I do. Okay, in select Group Two, we we'll just have a look at one or two of them briefly. Paul Tierney presided over a very eventful lunchtime game on Saturday. Derby winning 3-2 at Wolves. The penalty for Derby's third goal. Did I clock that right? Looked a bit soft, to say the least. Or? Soft. Um, yeah, I mean, I was watching it, watching the game. And is it, is it I mean, I, I don't think you can disagree with... with um, you think it was right? Yeah, I do. Okay. I mean, a lot of people say that the, the penalty was soft yesterday in the, in the Arsenal-Tottenham game. Mm. But for me, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a stick on penalty. Mm. But... It, 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 Looking at Paul again, now he's been he's been promoted to select group one, mm. and yet I think he's done what we're in November, and he's done two games. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. games. You know, we've got select group two. I thought these championship games were for select group two referees. You know, to get their experience, to you know, to build them up ready for to move on to select group one. I don't know what you make of Andy Davis, but he had a terrific game uh, to preside over. Anyway, Norwich two leads three. Uh, I don't. Didn't see any. No, 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 no controversies. Cracking game, and it's good to see um, Gary Monk doing well at, 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 Isn't it at just, Leeds. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it is, and he's really had difficult turned times and turned it around. Yeah. yeah, full marks to him. Uh, Cardiff's two-one defeat at Newcastle. Newcastle going brilliantly. Uh, well, that was Tony Harrington. Uh, I haven't seen this, but Neil Warnock had a had a gripe there. Um, <laughs> really? No, really? <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, really. Believe it. Every game I refereed, Neil Warnock had a gripe with me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's nothing new there. Good, he, he great claims, man. He claims a penalty turned down. Keith Stroud had two sendings off, two two yellows in each case. Nottingham Forest QPR. QPR's Henry going, Pereira of Forest going. Both managers complained about. First yellow. I think it was the first yellow cards they complained about. Yeah, it's, once again we were talking about yellow cards and, and, and cheap yellow cards and recognition of careless, reckless, and, and excessive force. Um, I, I do feel that we were seeing far, far too many um, cheap, cheap yellow, yellow cards and our recognition of careless and reckless, both in the championship, select group two and, and select group one, is is a, is a concern for me. It's the first yellow card that's the problem often, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah because, I, mean, I mean, they put themselves like in trouble, didn't they? That's exactly what I was going to say. You know, you, you cause yourself a problem with that first one, if it is a soft one. Mm -hmm. You know, then the, the next one will undoubtedly be a, a tougher tattle that you've got to punish. Yeah. Yeah. So it puts you in, a, in an awkward position. See, also, some referees think sometimes that perhaps the game's 
run, you know, they're losing control of the game and they've got to come in and, and stamp and, and their throat on the game yeah, yeah. And, and, giving a, and giving a yellow card. Well, yeah. not for a careless challenge, you know, not for careless challenges. They've got to be tough and strong yeah, yeah. With, with their body language and the way they engage with the players and the way they talk to the players and let them know and manage yeah. the players, and we're not seeing a lot of that at the moment. Well, this wasn't careless, it wasn't reckless, it wasn't even on the ball, it was way off the ball. I'm talking about Calvin Andrew, who's uh, received a 12-match suspension from the FA. Calvin Andrew of Rochdale, you may have seen it, you can you Google it, and you, you two have studied it. Yeah. Off the ball, he's hammering with an elbow. Oldham's uh, Peter Clark, missed by the referee, Tony Harrington. Well, What's your point? Yeah. Before we come on here, I've got, uh, I've got um, yeah. Earthy to look at it. Now, look, looking at... The officials, I, I can understand the referee not seeing it because the play's out on the left. He's, yeah. got, he's got to keep his eye on the two players and where the ball is. He, he's not going to be looking in, in, in the six-yard box because the play's not there. The play's out on, right yeah. out on the left. And when I saw this, I just thought it was, it was a savage attack, a professional on another professional. And I, 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 hats off to the FA for taking action. Quickly. Quickly. Mm. Mm. But for me, 12 games is not enough. It's not enough from what, from, from what uh, I saw. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's a fair point. I mean, when you look yeah. at the situation of uh, your likes of Cantona, yeah, the you know, Kung Fu kick. the Kung Fu kick. I mean, what was he nine months or something like that? Uh, nine or ten, I think. Yeah, well, nine yeah, or yeah. ten months. You know, yeah. it's Pruton you know, yeah. the referee. I mean, it, all cops. The there is a little bit of an incident before the actual event happens, uh, but there's, hey, there's no way you can condone anything like that on the football field. Right. You know, absolute savage. But firstly, the ball's not even there. The ball's nowhere like near. Like you it. say, I don't know. I don't know what's it? been said. I don't know what's been done. But obviously, somebody's he's, he's upset with the fella, and he's gone. If that happens out in a, out in town at any night, and you, you're street. serving time, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, 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 football, yeah. it's it's GBH. Yeah, yeah. Um, shocking, shocking, Alan. You talk about the officials. The referee, you know, couldn't be expected to look there. What about fourth officials and the fourth official in this case? Are they too preoccupied absorbing all the abuse from coaches and managers? <laughs> are they distracted well, by this well, function? You are sometimes. And if, and if just at that, that time when the incident happens, if a manager says, oh, I want a substitution, then he's going to pick the ball up, he's looking at the card, mm. so he could quite easily see it, miss that. I'll tell you now, 90% yeah. of people won't have seen that incident. No, no. no. A few behind no. the goal would have seen well, it. Other people are watching the game over there, the incident well, happens there. Shouldn't fourth officials be free to actually be a pair of eyes rather than have all this counselling to do with stress yeah, counselling? But, yeah, but we're asking him to be the pair of eyes that's looking at that incident waiting yeah. for it to happen and, he, and he's not going to be doing that so he's actually might, he might be watching somebody else that's having a little niggle but just coming yeah. on to what you know you know what i mean it's, Maybe, it's, it's an awkward one to stick area, in there so you should be looking at the center of just the coming area. on to what Ersty said not even the players reacted no none of the players no. reacted so they're in close proximity aren't they yeah yeah it was, it was just the way he, 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 he just ran he sprinted six or seven yeah. yards didn't he and just and oh savage but, savage not just deserved, uh you know a lengthy ban. Yeah, we can we can yeah. sit here and say it should have been more. It should have been this. Should have been that. Indeed. At right. least they've jumped on it. Straight oh, away. Absolutely. Well yeah. done. Well yeah. done in the FA. All right. Just time to wrap up with Whitehawk one, Stourbridge one in the first round of the FA Cup. It wouldn't normally have made any headlines, but right at the end, uh, Whitehawk uh, substitute Javier Favrel netted a spectacular thirty-yard volley. Uh, referee Robert Whitten blew for time. I'm, I'm not sure whether it was it as he connected with the ball or as it was going in or what. Well, just as he, he was just as he was in flight, he, he, he blew his whistle at the ball. But we go back to Andre Mariner, the referees at the top. You know, just giving that, just giving delaying himself, the a, a, delaying the whistle, giving yourself that little bit of thinking time. Hang on, what's happening here? Just wait. Reading the game. Two Reading managers, the game. Two anticipating. Opinions. Two managers. Opinions. Do you want him to uh, delay the whistle when it's going in against you? Well, or do you want to that, delay yeah. the whistle when it's going in for you? Yeah. It's, I remember it's, Clive it's, Thomas did it from a corner, Brazil, oh, a yeah, long time ago. And, and he got sent home. And he got sent home. He got sent <laughs> home. So what, what, so what does that tell you? Yeah. Does well, it I mean, come under the realms of common sense? Or common sense. Trevor Kettle done it last season. Sense. Trevor Kettle did it. So what are we going to do next? Are we going to get rid of the, uh, the timing machine? Yeah. Is, is the clock out the window now? <laughs> 90 <laughs> minutes, Fergie does the time, is it? I've got to say, I felt sorry for the referee. I did. I did feel sorry for him. He wouldn't have deliberately done that. No. Are we going down the rugby route? So when the ball becomes dead, that's when we can blow the end whistle. Well, not or are we going when the time's up? Not a bad idea. Yeah. There you hey, go. Hey, that's a good one to finish with. A gem, <laughs> a perler from Hursty. Netted that one, top corner from 30 yards. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Cheers, guys. David Hurst and Mark Housley, see you for another Ref Show next week. Bye.